introduction to classification of objects hello friends i'm a parrot welcome to this lesson let us see what you will learn in this chapter what actually are the characteristics of objects and how different groups of objects are formed based on their characteristics come on let's go to chotu's house chotu has just entered the first grade his mother is helping chotu to keep his new books and toys in the cupboard chotu come on now keep both your books in your cupboard according to their size this means keep the big book at the bottom and keep the small book on it mm, can you help me to do this yes of course can you tell me out of these two books which one is the big book and which one is the small book yes this one is the big book and this one is the small book very good chotu let's look at these toys now the shapes of all these toys are different one is round like a ball while another one is square like your book and their color is also different yes mom but i did not get why are you telling me all this my dear big or small size different shape or different color these are the characteristics of these objects on the basis of which we can differentiate i mean classify them oh okay so you are older and i am younger these are also our characteristics isn't it yes chotu you got it absolutely right very good mom now i feel like playing with toys will you play with me mom yes my dear let us now play jungle jungle but before that except the animal toys let's keep all the other toys inside the cupboard okay mom can we play jungle jungle now yes of course my son i am a lion and i am very hungry now should i eat this white rabbit or this black goat hey this brown deer also looks delicious come on chotu quickly hide all these animals from the lion so that he cannot eat them but how mom keep the white rabbit along with the white object so that it is not visible to the lion similarly keep the rest of the animals with objects similar to their color okay mom i have hidden all the animals now the lion will not be able to eat them right well done son no now the lion will not be able to eat them and that's why he was very upset and went back yay i saved the animals Yes son very good Did you see how Chotu classified the animals based on their color and placed them with objects matching their colors So do you know what this process of grouping objects on the basis of their characteristics is called This process is called classification of objects this means that based on the characteristics the process of classifying objects with similar characteristics and grouping them is called classification can you classify the books in your 
bag on the basis of their color and size. Come on, it's night now and you should go to sleep. Quickly put these toys back and go to sleep. Okay, mom. I had a lot of fun today. We will play again tomorrow. <laughs> sure, son. Now go to sleep. Good night. That's all for today. In this video, we have learned what are the characteristics of objects. On the basis of characteristics, how we can classify objects and make different groups of them. We have also learned that this process of creating different groups is called classification. In the next video, we will see some more examples of classification. Bye friends! of classification of objects. So children, in the previous video you have learned what are the characteristics of objects. On the basis of characteristics, how we can classify the objects and make different groups of them. You also learned that this process of grouping based on characteristics is called classification. In this video we will see some examples of classification in which we will group objects based on their characteristics. It is morning and Chotu's mother is soaking clothes. Chotu comes to help his mother. Mom, what are you doing? Son, I am separating clothes before washing them. May I help you with this? Yes, why not? Can you put different clothes in different buckets based on their color? Okay. Choto looks at the clothes and puts all the shirts in one bucket. All the pants in the second bucket. And all the saris in the last bucket. Seeing this, his mother starts laughing. Chotu does not understand why his mother is laughing. Can you tell us why Chotu's mother laughed? Did Chotu separate the clothes properly? Mom, why are you laughing? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> yes, son. I had asked you to separate all the clothes on the basis of their color. But you have separated them based on their types. Oh, -ho. let me do it correctly now. Chotu takes all the clothes out of the bucket and then puts all the white clothes in one bucket. Blue clothes in the second bucket and all the red clothes in the third bucket. In this way, on the basis of the characteristic of clothes, that is on the basis of color, Chotu has classified and made different groups. Can you tell what is this process called? Yes, you got it right. It is called classification. Mom, I am feeling very hungry. Let's go and eat something. Okay, son. But nothing is ready yet. Let me quickly make dal and rice. Okay, mom. I will also come to the kitchen with you. Chotu and his mother go to the kitchen. On the shelf in the kitchen, a box of dal is placed behind the rajma box. As Chotu's mother picks up the dal box, both rajma and dal boxes accidentally fall from her hand. And both dal and rajma get mixed. Oh ho! Dal has mixed with rajma. 
Chotu, can you help me separate dal and rajma? Yes, mom. I will help you do this. Chotu then starts putting dal in one bowl and rajma in another bowl. So, children, can you tell me what Chotu is doing? Yes, you people are absolutely right. He is classifying dal and rajma on the basis of their color and size and grouping them into two separate bowls. Here you go, mom. Dal and rajma are separated. Very good, Chotu. Thank you. Now let me quickly make dal and rice for you. Okay, mom. Till then, let me go and call everybody else to eat. So, children, did you enjoy seeing the examples of classification? So, that's all for today. In this video, we have learned how we can classify objects based on their characteristics like color and shape, and thus how to create different groups of them. I hope you have enjoyed and understood this topic properly. Bye friends.